today on the beer reviews we are going to get really drunk with science all right i have a few beer review uh, beers i want to review first off um sam adams is doing something called their uh nitros they're using infusing uh beer with nitrogen so uh, with these widgets inside uh that actually give it Maybe it doesn't have the actual widget. No, yeah, it doesn't have the widget. It's kind of like, um, so what What uh, they're doing is infusing these beers with nitrogen so they uh, come out and, uh, of the can more like how they would come out of the tap. Um, uh, Boddington's has been doing that with year for years with a patented widget they have inside the can. Uh, but... Moving away from nitrogen, I'm going to do some non-nitrogen beers. First off, I'm doing uh, Lower de Boom. It's a uh, barley wine style ale by 21st Amendment. Oh, see the city be the can? This is a very powerful, it's a burgundy colored orange, um, orange colored beer. It's really heavy on the bread flavor with a little bit of fruity afternotes very strong uh it's 11.5 percent alcohol this is powerful stuff man i'm telling you but it's the it's overpowering with the alcohol flavor and it's just too has too much of that bready flavor so i'm just going to give it a 3.2 okay 3.2 it's okay but really not that okay um this is from Breakside Brewing Company of uh, Portland, and it is a salted caramel stout, and it's made with co in collaboration with the handmade Salt and Straw Ice Cream Company. And you know what? When I seen this, I like salted caramel, okay? But when I drank this, it was too just too much of a common stout. You barely taste you taste a few caramel notes, but you don't hear really taste much of the salt. It's just meh. It's okay. It's doesn't. It doesn't seem. It seems like it's lying to you, and says, "Hey, you know what? Even though we say this, you don't really taste it that much." I'm gonna give it a three. So I'll move on to the nitrogen based beers, and then I'll get. Uh, show the beer I have for today. So this is uh, the Nitro White Ale. Oh yeah, it does have the Nitro Widget. A Nitro Widget inside of the can gives our White Ale its incredibly smooth, creamy taste. You'll notice a swirling cascade of energy as the beer settles into your glass. The Widget does the work for you. It And same thing with this um, Coffee Stout. They're, these both are just regular beers. Nitro, a coffee stout and a white ale. Both I'll give about four. They're both really drinkable. The thing is that nitro ale, that little widget inside, gives it that... It, it makes it feel like it's been it comes right out of the tap. I, I really applaud Sam Adams for doing it. Guinness is actually doing that with another beer they actually have. So, what is nitrogen? Nitrogen is a element, a chemical element. It was discovered in the 1700s uh, by uh, the scientist... Oh, for God's sake. Escapes me at the moment, but... Um, Originally, nitrogen was considered to be noxious air. So, um, nitrogen is one of the most common elements in the universe. It's the seventh most common element. Uh, when you're in chemistry or biology or any basic science, uh, the most common elements are represented by CHON. C-H-O-N. Carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. CHON. Uh... Nitrogen is really good for storing energy. That's why our most uh, nucleic acids or the nitrogen bases that actually form DNA and RNA are made of nitrogen. Also, nitrogen is used in industrial fertilizers and explosives. TNT is dynamite. Yeah, no, terrible thing. 
But, yeah, nitrogen is one of the most common elements in the known universe. So, another scientific beer I'm going to do is the Rejuvenator Double uh, Double. Double Doppel. It's from Hebrew Brewing Company. It's a Belgian style double ale and double bock, uh, where um, double bock European style lager with malt. It's a malt beverage with grape juice added. Now, what are about uh, what is up with grapes? Because people think grapes, they think wine, and wine is one of the most common ancient beverages that became fermented. Why is that? So, grapes are actually a fruiting berry of that basically grow on a vine and they have been uh, around for quite a long time. I think it was the 6000 BC. Uh, if you find early uh, grape cultivation in Armenia and Georgia, the one in Eastern Europe, not the Banjo Georgia or Charlie Daniels Georgia, um, Here's the quite thing. The yeast actually naturally cultivates itself within the, the skins of grapes. So it easily ferments. You didn't know that, huh? So let me see what this beverage has. It says, da -da -da -da, it's a glorious beer, truly unique. Uh, malts, two row Munich, Caravina, dark crystal malts. All right, these are the hops in it. Warrior Cascade, Amarillo Crystal, and Goldings. Okay, so California, New York grape juices. All right, here we go. For science! It has this very dark, very dark amber-ish color. And you can smell, like, the hops and also this great, this mild grape flavor. Just an emanating off it. Oh wow, that's strong. That's strong. Let's see what the alcohol content on this is. By the way, I have to give Schmaltz Brewing Company a lot of credit. They do a lot of really interesting, unique stuff. It doesn't really say anything. Where it, it doesn't say the alcohol percentage. Oh, eight percent. All right. It's really strong flavored. It has a very bready, malty flavor with enough hops to give it this. And the grape, grapes give it a mild sour taste to it. Really powerful stuff. I would really give this a beer like a 3.8. It's unique. It's just really strong other than that it's very drinkable um 3.8 not really that much of a really toe tapping really lovable or likable beers but you learn something about the element of nitrogen and also learn something about grapes congrats um hey i hope you enjoyed this beer review um because I'm going to be honest, I was drinking a cinder cone spice lager before this. And an Asahi. And some, an Echiko. Rice lager. Uh, I'm, I'm feeling it right now. But hey, I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, hey, uh, uh, new stuff about Kaidra Gaiden. Um, uh, apparently David Hall has got his head out of his butt. And now he looks like he's going to send out the Chibi Wolfman, but, uh, the Chibi Wolfman uh, miniatures and the Wolfman vinyl busts. Awesome sauce. I'm trying, and I'm trying to work with a group here. I have an idea. I'm trying, to, a Kaiju Ray idea. I cannot really discuss, but I'm at least trying to stir up some, some interest in it. How would you guys... Even though if you got some of you guys are of the beer community, some of you guys who follow me are in the kaiju community, how would you like a line of kaiju-based clothing? Not, not established kaiju like Godzilla Kong, 
Gamera, but something unique. Comment. Talk to me. How would you like that? Hey, you guys have a good night. Enjoy yourselves. Night.